Why are we so fucking sad? <laughs> I read an article the other day that said that depression is now the most widespread illness on Earth. Okay, like, <laughs> what that means is that there is a massive epidemic of soul sickness. The story that we tell ourselves about ourselves is no longer convincing. It's no longer serving us. What does it mean to be depressed? What does it mean for your world to seemingly implode? <laughs> Ernest Becker said psychosis is just neurosis pushed to its extreme. Jamie Wheel says we are unresourceful in our thinking. We have these cul-de-sacs and error messages, crippling self-doubt, existential despair, running stories in our head seemingly on repeat. We're like a fragmented hard drive. We're barely ever in the zone, barely ever tapped in, barely ever connected to something greater than ourselves. Psychiatrists and neurologists talk about anxiety and depression as a set of stories. This, this, this soul sickness has been described as an excessive rumination from something called the default mode network, which is the autobiographical mind or the ego, which again, they say is a construct. It's an illusion, perhaps designed by nature to get us to act with volition and equanimity and agency in the world to get shit done. But maybe we have lost our way. Maybe we have gone as far as we can. Maybe our triumph as uh, innovators and engineers, seemingly attaining the kind of riches that our ancestors could have barely imagined, has gotten us to this point, and now we need something more. Maybe the things we buy don't satiate our psyche and soul. Maybe the existential duress that comes from sentience, from beings that are aware that they're aware and are hungry for some fundamental explanation that tells us who the fuck we are and what we're meant to do. I certainly am no longer convinced by the tales of old, the narratives that used to cloak us in an existential blanket reassuring us against the void of the cosmic fuck are we to do? 800,000 people are committing suicide a year now, according to the United Nations. More than the amount of people that die from natural disasters and armed conflict. We are depressed in ways we've never been before. We are more anxious than we've ever been before. What the fuck is going on? And so perhaps there is a cure on the way. Perhaps what we need is a vastly different approach. Perhaps the new space is inner space. We have crawled the surface of the moon, yet we know not why some of us cannot get out of bed in the morning. Seemingly healthy human beings oppressed by the stranglehold of their own spirit. What the fuck is going on? And I don't know, you know, I don't know. I can empathize. I've had my share of panic attacks. I've had my share of heartache. I've had my crisis of meaning. <laughs> I've practically drowned uh, in my own distress. And yet here I am, right? Trying to resolve, trying to absolve, <laughs> trying to make sense of it all. So I extend my hand to you and I invite you to join me to figure this out. This is a journey and we're all in it together and the alternative, as David Foster Wallace says, is unconsciousness. The default setting, the rat race, the constant gnawing sense of having had and lost some infinite thing.